after that really uh, testing ride. <laughs> so they still have a lot of speedsters here in Singapore. We met a lot of really, really nice locals. Very nice people, very nice riders, excellent riders. Uh, so now we're at 120 kilometers. Bye, Sheng! See you, bye bye! Okay, I'm gonna be here. See you later, alligator. Oh, okay, so uh, Sheng's gonna be on the other side. Uh, I go home here. So this is the way home. We're staying in some one of the flats over here. Yeah. Okay, so here's where I stop. Here's where I live. Update you soon. Next time. Bye. Oh. And my favorite, the Tanamera Coastal Road, or um, locally known as TMCR. So, a little bit of a history. Tanamera, meaning red earth in Malay, refers to the reddish brown soil found in the area. This coastal road located in the eastern region of Singapore has been a very significant route connecting Changi Airport and the East Coast Park. It was developed to improve accessibility and uh, you know, enhance the uh, connectivity of the region. Now. Let's talk about why TMCR is a magnet for road cyclists in Singapore. That includes me. And most of the CRZ training session and training camps are also done here. And as you can see, there are a lot of cyclists that come over here every day, especially on the weekends. One of the major attractions is its picturesque coastal views. Now, as you pedal along the road, you'll be able to treat and buy a lot of stuff, especially starting at the Changi village. You'll see uh, breathtaking vistas of the sea. And then, well, just the wind, the wide road. It's a fantastic experience. Plus, seeing all the super bikes around, even at a standstill in a red light, um, already takes the breath away. And you're never gonna get through it. And here's a little thrill for the speed enthusiasts out there. The allowable speed limit in EMCR is higher Hi, Joyce. compared to other roads in Singapore. This makes uh, you uh, ride as uh, fast as you can. And anyone who wants to push their limits and test their speed on two wheels and be on aerodynamic uh, handlebars just like triathletes, this is allowed here. Many avid road cyclists love the flat and straight stretches that TMCR offers because one loop is literally 24 kilometers. This allows me and all of my friends uh, reach higher speeds. If you compare that uh, riding along the inside the city skirts of Singapore where, well, you know, stoplights are very popular. Now, let's touch on the importance of aerodynamics. Aside from drafting, which you know, is the best aerodynamic saving uh, skill that you can master. And that's the reason why in this video, a lot of people do double baseline riding, staying as close as possible to the front wheel. I mean, staying as close as possible to the wheel in front of you, uh, staying focused. Most people stop chit chatting as soon as the speeds go up. Uh, but when you're zooming down TMCR at high speeds, aerodynamics, become key to optimizing your ride. I mean, you can buy all the nicest aerodynamic bike, the nicest aero wheels, the nicest uh, skin suits, but aerodynamics is really, really important. Just like now, when everyone starts to speed up, testosterone pumping in your blood, on your legs, and uh, as soon as one person accelerates, that's specifically the sign that well you gotta pay attention and it's just gonna be balls out eyes out flat out ensuring an efficient and streamlined position on your bike will help you combat wind resistance and increase your speed 
So, from choosing an aerodynamic bike to considering your body position on the bike, you have to start paying attention on these small details that can make a big difference in your overall performance. The way you hold the hoods, the way you align your head in the wind, trying to make the smallest frontal signature as possible. Because just like uh, Einstein's popular formula EMC squared, the higher your speed, the more effort that you have to, to put in. So this advanced posture allows you to be at your most aerodynamic on your handlebars. So whether you're a local cyclist or a visitor like me, looking to explore the exciting roads cycling scene in Singapore, the TMCR Coastal Road is a must try for its stunning coastal views. So get on your uh, backpack, put on your bike box, buy a ticket and join us here in Singapore for our weekend training camps for newbies and learning the art of cycling through biomechanics, bike fitting and best of all, uh, coffee after the bike ride. So 50 kilometers per hour is only achievable if you go as low as possible unless you're uh, Tadej Pogacar or uh, you know um, Chris Froome but for most of us normal people for us to reach speeds above 45 to 50 kilometers per hour just like what Francis is doing he's trying as his best to go at a smaller frontal signature as possible or else you're just gonna be like a parachute and you'll be uh, slowed down so enjoy the film uh, hopefully uh, the sights and sounds of high-speed riding on asphalt road will uh, uh, entertain you thank you very much we'll see you on the finish line at the end of this uh, episode
Move slow. Move slow. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Nice ride. Oh, that was exciting, huh? Yeah. Nice one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, straight, straight. Just uh, sit back. I'm gonna tell Ronnie, if in Singapore you like laksa, it means we love a laksa. FR. like what they said uh get lost and explore right okay <laughs> 